Welcome to the lecture series of Mechanics of Solids. In this lecture, we are going to solve more examples on moment of inertia. So, let's start the problem. So, this is the problem which we are going to solve. Find moment of inertia of the object shown in figure about x-axis and y-y-axis. So, here a figure is given where one rectangle is there and a circle is cut from it. The dimension of rectangle and the circle has been given and we are asked to determine moment of inertia of this figure about both x-axis and y-y-axis. So first of all, we have to work out centroid of this figure. The very first step is to determine the axis of symmetry. So here axis of symmetry is available. The figure is symmetrical about y y axis. So let us draw the axis of symmetry first. So this is the axis about which the figure is symmetric, which is parallel to pi y. So x bar can be directly available. So let us first work out x bar. X bar of this figure, that is the maximum dimension of this figure in x direction divide by 2. So x bar will be the dimension of figure in x direction is 200 and half of it is x bar. Now we have to work out y bar. So for that let us decide the reference axis first. So these are the reference axis xx and yy. It is selected in such a way that the figure remains in the first quadrant. Now let us divide the figure into simple geometric figures. It is very clear that this is first number is this rectangle and second number is the circle. Let us mark the centroid of it. This point is centroid of rectangle and this point is centroid of circle. Now let us determine y bar. So this is the equation of y bar. Let us first work out a1, y1, a2 and y2. So first figure is rectangle. Its area we know it is length into width. So a1 is 60,000 mm square. Now let us work out a2. The second figure is circle. The area of circle can be worked out by this equation that is pi by 4d square. The value of d has been equated and the value of a2 has been worked out. It is 17671.46 mm square. Now let us work out y1 and y2. y1 that is distance of centroid of first figure from xx axis. So total dimension of figure is given that is 300 and the distance of centroid from the top portion of the figure is given. So this distance will be 300 minus 100. So after the calculation y1 is 200 mm. Now let us work out y2. Here we have taken the circle is the second figure. So this will be y2 and y1 is the centroid of first figure from x-axis. axis. So that will be half of this. So it will be. So y1 has been obtained as 150 mm. Now equate all the value in this equation to get y bar. So all value of a1, y1, a2, y2 has been equated and after calculation the value of y bar has been obtained as 129.13 mm square. Now let us mark that in the figure. So this point is the centroid of the complete figure which is at 129.13 mm from the bottom of the figure and 170.87 mm from the top of figure. Now let us work out moment of inertia about x-axis -x -x first. Now check the position of centroid of all component part. The centroid of first figure is this, centroid of second figure is this and centroid of figure is this. So in order to work out moment of inertia, we have to use parallel axis theorem. Let us mark x-axis. -x -x 
So this is the centroid of first figure. This is its centroidal axis. This is the centroid of second figure. This is its centroidal axis. We need to determine the moment of inertia of this both figure about this axis. So we need to transfer it to this axis. So let us write the equation of Ixx. Ixx that is equal to Ixx1 minus Ixx2 because here circle is to be cut. Ixx and Iyy equation has been written. A1 that is known to us, Ig1 that is moment of inertia about any figure about its own centroidal axis and H1 and H2 is the distance between two parallel axis where it need to be transferred. So let us work out H1 and H2 first. This is the centroidal axis of first figure. It is to be transferred here. So this distance will be H1. This is the centroidal axis of second figure. It need to transfer at this axis. So this distance is going to be H2. Let us work out H1 and H2 first. This is the centroid of first figure. This distance is half of 300. So it will be 150 mm. And we have to subtract this distance 129.13 to work out H1. Now H2 is this distance. So this distance is known to us that is 170.87 and this distance is also known it is 100 mm. So 170.87 if we subtract 100 from that so H2 will be available and that way H2 has been worked out. Now let us write the equation of Ig1 and Ig2 here. Ixx for rectangle is BD cube by 12. So it has been written here and Ixx for, for circle that is pi by 64. So let us equate all the value and work out Ixx. So here all value of B, D and diameter, area, and H1, H2 has been kept and after calculations, the moment of inertia of this figure about XX axis has been obtained as 362.53 into 10 raised to 6 mm raised to 4. Now let us work out IYY. Now to work out IYY, let us, the, let us check position of centroid. So here, this is Y2, Y2 axis. This axis is y1, y1 axis and y, y axis of figure, all the axis are in the same line. So moment of inertia of the figure can be obtained simply from the algebraic summation of moment of inertia of individual figure. So let us write the equation of i, y, y. It will be i, y, y1 minus i, y, y2. Moment of inertia about yy axis for rectangle that is db cube by 12 and that for circle is pi by 64 d raised to 4. Now let us equate all the value and work out iyy. So here all value of b, d and diameter has been kept and value of iyy has been obtained as 175.5. 1.5 into 10 raised to 6 mm raised to 4. So this is one problem which you have to solve yourself. Please write your answer in the comment box. And if you face any difficulty, please write in the comment box. I will be there to help you. Thank you for watching this video.